Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how you folks doing? Welcome here and welcome to another edition of the CMU. It is good to have you, everyone. Holy moly, what a week it has been. Uh, I'm incredibly proud of myself, to be quite honest, that I was able to get this episode out for you guys this week. But we are here. I just finished this episode about probably 40 minutes ago. The render was super duper quick. It was awesome. Good stuff. We are ready to get this thing going. Now, without further ado, my friends, it is time for your con man certified roll call. So who do we got in here today? We got ourselves. Mr. Tornicane, how you doing, buddy? Welcome to the live stream. We have J Money Jeff up in here. We have Raul Kapar. Welcome to the live stream. How you doing, my man? Uh, we've got ourselves Jalen Jackson. Braden Mish is in here. King of Cleveland. Trey Lucado. Jordan Miller. How you doing, my man? Sawyer McIntosh is in here. We have ourselves Elizabeth for real. We see Jason Pace up in here. Ross Blocks, how you doing? Samuel Vlogs, welcome to the stream. Dylan Katzemia, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to the live stream as well. So many great people, so many wonderful faces. Let's get into it, my friends. It is time for the CMU. Let's do it, everyone. Let's go. And if you guys are ready for this show, chant these three special letters in the most outdated intro of all time. It goes like this, though. You ready? You type C. You type M. You type U. You put it together. What do you get? CMU. 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 C M U C M U C M U C M U. Let's get it, folks. Welcome to the C M U. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the undisputed internet championship. Oh, damn. Members title kicking things off. Casey Wood wants his rematch. Oh, boy, does he ever, everyone. So Casey Wood enacting his rematch clause here tonight to open up the show. All right, this man surprisingly lost the title in a open challenge. Casey Wood was going out there and saying he's going to issue the Lumberjacks open challenge. Anthony Daniel, of all people, a newbie to the CMU, answered said challenge, and Anthony Daniel walked away as the new member's champion. That went down, and now tonight, we're going to see if Anthony Daniel is going to be able to defend that title again, or will Casey Wood become, I believe, a four-time member's champion? It's entirely possible. Welcome to the CMU, everyone. It's good to have you. Thank you very much to Jason Peace for becoming a new member. Welcome to Team Green, my man. We'll get some sweet knees rolling in a hot moment. How you doing there, Samuel Vlogs and Cowboy420? It's good to have you guys. We're going to get Streamlabs launched. I apologize that it's not quite ready. Let's get this launched right here. Here we go like this. Cloud bot gets launched and boom, that gets launched there. Perfect. Don't need Twitter at the moment either. Oh, by the way, everyone, uh, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who reached out after Monday. We'll talk about it some more in depth, I think, on the Friday live stream, just because I feel there's going to be more people uh, who want to obviously hear it. I don't want to retell the story four or five times. So. Uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about it on Friday, okay? But here comes the members' champion. It's Anthony Daniel. Woo! So let's get those coins launched. So look at that championship. Flanked by Steven B behind him. Look at the seven-foot beast. That is a big-ass dude. 
There's no two ways about that. That's a big, big dude. The flowers are a little off-putting. This guy, he just... You look behind the glasses and there's a bit of a menace, isn't there? This guy says he's a god. We'll see just how godly the members champion is tonight. KTP Wrestling, thank you so much, dude. I hope you're doing good today. Appreciate that. So, who will win? Let's go. Will it be Anthony Daniel? Introducing the challenger from Great Falls, Montana, weighing in at 256 pounds, Casey Wood. Introducing the champion from Bogota, Colombia, weighing in at 207 pounds, he is the undisputed internet champion, Anthony Daniel. All right, my friends, you have the ability to bet on this match. Con coins are available in the live chat. Do bet Daniel five to 20. You can do up to 20 con coins because this is a opening members title match and I feel a little generous. So, 5 to 20, anywhere in between, cast your bets. Cast your bets. Here we go, my friends. Anthony Daniel versus Casey Wood. Kick things off with a little so... Oh. Is that going to work? I was going to say, let's kick it off with sweet knees, but uh, apparently things are broken on my stream deck. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> I somehow broke my stream deck. Oops. <laughs> well, anyways, Casey Wood starts off with a nice side slam there to Anthony Daniel. I might not be able to play any donations here today. Give me a second, guys. Just gotta hit play. Some broken. Well, we'll see here tonight. <laughs> I hope everything will work. It looks a little broken for me. Anyways, Casey Wood, the former's member, former member's champion here, going right after Anthony Daniel, hitting a nice uppercut. Now another one delivered. Kick right there to the midsection, punch to the side of the head, and Casey Wood fires back, and just look at him shoving away Anthony Daniel. Now, Anthony is not a small man by any means, but... He is certainly smaller than the average fella inside of the CMU. That is a thing Anthony Daniel is trying to overcome in his career. He has helped his case by adding a seven foot giant in the form of Stephen B, but that doesn't actually compensate for his own lack of size. Uh, Casey Wood just manhandling him right now. How long was Casey champion for? That's a good question. If you would like to refer to the championship list we have on our Discord, you can take a look at that. It has all the dates, the title lengths, everything like that, the rings, everything that you could possibly need when it comes to the CMU champions. Anthony Daniel, nice back body drop after Stephen B distracted Casey Wood. But Casey Wood gonna take full advantage and a nice German suplex. Knocks him down into the mat. Now Casey Wood, oh, reversed into the corner. Anthony Daniel throws him there, there's a right hand. Now a spear right in the midsection, driving his shoulder in. Casey Wood though, the strong veteran, finds his way to reverse out of that one. But Anthony Daniel tries to take full advantage. Casey Wood with a punch to the midsection, goes for a clothesline, and look, a steel chair is now in the ring, courtesy of Stephen B. Look at this, gut wrench, gut wrench bomb! Down goes Casey Wood. Gonna bring him back towards the center of the ring. And Anthony Daniel, oh my god, no way, no, 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 he's got that claw, the mandible claw deep in the gullet of Casey Wood, but Casey finds his way out of that one, remember Casey Wood passed out to that the last time they were in a match, and then Casey Wood hits a beautiful German suplex. There you go, Casey punched to the face, Anthony Daniel just got tossed over his head. And Daniel is in trouble. The mandible claw, though. Oh, talk 
about a big ass boot. The big ass boot from Daniel and Casey Wood distracted again by Stephen B. Daniel takes full advantage and gut first he goes on his knee. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video before we get too far into it. Also making sure you are subscribed. Thank you very much for watching everyone. And if you would like to drop your support, you can become a member, become a part of the show, or you can drop a super chat as Anthony Daniel is dropping a super chat on his face and he went for a big old spike, a big spike with that thumb, but Casey would find his way out of that one. Somehow, managed his way, but there you go. The weight of Anthony Daniel, I guess somehow too much for Casey Wood. Oh, he went for the big boot again. He couldn't land the Lumberjacks boot, and there's a punch right to the face. Anthony Daniel now throws him back into the corner, and our clothesline down he goes. Anthony Daniel is very much in control over Casey Wood, just dropping his boot across the back of his knee now here he goes again no mandible claw Wood's gonna pass out Casey Wood's gonna pass out oh my god guys Casey's trapped he's actually no no way out for Casey he's out cold he's out cold two no way Anthony Daniel just beat Casey Wood again Who is this man? Who in the world is Anthony Daniel truly? Because this guy is someone to watch. Congratulations, Anthony. What a win. Oh, come on! Come on, no! Anthony, you cheap son of... You beat him already. And now Steven B in the... No, no, no! The spike to the throat! Good Lord! And now he's gonna put him up for Steven B. And the size of this man. No, come on, dude! Seven foot bomb. Casey Wood, dude, loses the member's title last week, and now it looks like he's about to lose his damn neck. God, snapping him in half. Sometimes, Casey, I am a god. If I say a man dies, he dies that same day. Now, if you feel brave enough to walk this world alone, by all means, Casey, you are free to do so. But life is full of surprises. Some good, and some not so good. So I'll let you live today. Come see me anytime, chap. I'd love to chat with you some more. Well, it certainly seems like Casey has quite the decision to make, doesn't it? I know I wouldn't want to piss off our members champion. But welcome everyone to the CMU. It's great to have you back again. We are just two weeks away from the CMU Halloween Havoc event, and I am here to announce the main event of that spooky evening. So, after what we saw last week, with the villain making his shocking return and attacking the heart and soul of the CMU in Tevin Walker and Amity, I have decided to grant the Rapture Leader a shot at Tevin's title. Now, as for tonight, Tevin and Amity will be joined by Retro Demand in the main event as they will face the Rapture in a six-man tag team match. We are also going to see the first ever CMU Giants Battle Royale. Six of the largest superstar on our roster will compete in that ring for a shot at the Intercontinental Championship at CMU Halloween Havoc. Oh baby, this show is shaping up to be a great one.
But now it's time for Calla Lily versus Bulletproof Barrages. Holy cow, just a few announcements right there. Goodness me, guys. Um, So, Devin Walker versus Villain is now official at CMU Halloween Havoc. We're also going to get the Giants Battle Royal later tonight. And the winner of that will become the number one contender for the Intercontinental title. And then we have a six-man tag team main event. Rapture versus Heart and Soul and Spirit. Retro to Man, Devin Walker, and Amity are going to join forces again. My God, everyone. Drop that like on the CMU if you're enjoying the show so far. Let's get Bulletproof Barrages out here. Here we go! Bulletproof is here! So what do you guys think about Sophia's new attitude, her new demeanor, all of that? What do you think? Say it in the live chat. Brian Schaefer over here highlighted his comment. He says, if he dies, he dies. Oh boy. Jason Dreamer in the chat says, I wonder who's in the Battle Royal. Should be a huge ride for anyone who wins. Oh my. I wonder who will it be. But here we are, everyone. It's Sophia versus Calla Lily. Let's get this thing underway. Oh, nice high head kick there to begin from Sophia Barajas. Whoops. go all right let's try this now who will win it's either going to be Sophia or will it be Kala Lily boom Get your bets in. Either bet Sophia or bet Lily here in this live chat. Hey, hey, hey. We got ourselves Jason Barker over here dropping five. Thank you, my man. He says, sup, Con. Sorry I'm late. Just got out of work and ready to relax with you by watching some CMU. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Nice big heel kick there from Sophia. Wait. Oh, come on. Not again. Kayla Bernstein, she has been looking at Sophia Barrages quite a bit recently. What is Kayla, what does she want with Sophia? What does Kayla want with Sophia? As, as Sophia looks like she's just gonna turn her attention back to Kala Lily, but she catches the big head kick and now it's advantage Kala Lily. She throws her just over the rope. Oh my God, it's almost like Kala was offering her up as a sacrifice to Kayla. And Kayla just circling her like the hyena she is. Kayla Bernstein. Oh my god! Sophia sent into the steel steps. That can't feel good. There is no way in hell that felt good. Oh my god! But then Sophia Barrage is just going to turn it around and throw Kala Lily right back there into the steps herself. Kala Lily now takes full advantage and sweeps her down into the mat. Thank you, Jason. I'm sorry I'm late. Just got out of work and ready to relax with you by watching some CMU. Well, kick back, relax, and enjoy, my man. Look at this, though. Sophia Barrage has just got sent down face first into the mat. Calla Lily has had enough. She's ready to take advantage of her in this match. She's ready to take advantage of the distracted Sophia. And down goes Barajas. Hey, Lottie Fi, welcome back, my man. You're actually back just in time today. 
I guess I can spoil one of the six men inside of the Giants Battle Royal, and his name is Lottify. So he is one of the six men in the Battle Royal later today. Huge, 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 the Giants Battle Royal. But I hope you're doing well, my man. And hang on. Kala Lily trapped. Trapped in this modified surfboard stretch. Is she going to be able to find her way out of that one? Oh, flips through and down goes. Kala Lily, Sophia Barajas takes that right away. Throws her into the corner. Drop kick down goes Kala. Hey, Kenny Lingus. How you doing, my man? Good to see you. And Sophia dropping down Kala again. This has been back and forth. Honestly, really solid. Really, really solid matchup. Then throwing her back into the corner yet again. Sophia Barajas runs into the knee from Kala Lily. Bulletproof Barajas. Hard Irish whip into the corner. And then just going to take her. But again, reversed by Kala. Look at this float through. Kala Lily, the master technician, one of the most technically gifted superstars in the CMU, is going to go to work. Wait a second. No, 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 Sophia. Or Kala. Kala, this is not a no-DQ match. Kala, put the bat down. Good girl. I don't know what you were thinking, but for some reason, she thought she needed the bat. And now... Sophia just draped over her knee. Kala Lily is in control. As soon as I said that, though, Kala Lily gets reversed. Sophia eats a right hand to the face, though, as they're both back up to their feet. Off the ropes goes Kala. Missile drop kick. Nobody home, though. And a chop to the chest. Back and forth they go, just trading chops. Boom! Overhead. Northern Light suplex, but only a count of one as Sophia Barajas is now looking to take her down. Sophia in a lot. Oh my god, Sophia! What is she thinking? Sophia! Oh my god! Go to sleep! But a rope break! And Kayla Bernstein getting up on the side of the ring is going to cause the referee to be distracted. But now Sophia Barajas going to go to the top rope. She had a freaking go to sleep, man. Sophia, missile drop kick, no one home. But I bet you Kala Lily has been rocked. Been rocked like a freaking five-year-old sock. I don't know. Anyways, Kala going with a right hand there to the face. Looking to take her out. Here she is. Murder! Suplex delivered. She ain't that bulletproof, is she? Nice call, Alex Allen. And this is awesome. Raining down from the crowd. This, in fact, is awesome. Do you guys agree? Chant it. This is awesome. This is awesome. Uh-oh, elbow right there to the hamstring area. Back elbow delivered from Sophia Barajas and just gonna throw Kala Lily back inside the ring. Kala Lily in trouble, just gonna drop her weight across the lower back. Remember, Kala Lily just got rocked by that go to sleep. However, Kala Lily takes down Sophia Barajas. Wait, wait a second, wait. What do you think you're doing, Kala? Kala? Kala, get down from there! Oh my god! She missed it! Just missed it! Whatever she was going for, that twisting move through the air. Kala Lil, oh no! A slap to the face! Sofia Barajas going for those double knees to the chest to put her away for good double knees from Barajas! Game over! Scott, ignore Kayla! Sophia ignores Kayla. Two, it's over. Nice attempt. Big fight. But Sophia Barajas wins. Wow, man. And Kayla Bernstein just continues to have to watch onwards. That go to sleep, though, man. What a brutal move.
Wait, what's this? Oh my god, what the frick? Oh my god, earlier today, what the hell? That's, that's totally Dave Rua. What the frick? Dave Rua in the locker room earlier today. I, 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 what the hell is going on? The lights are out. Dave Rua is being attacked. Not the trash can. Not the trash can. Oh my God. Who is that? Who the frick is that? So, what the hell? Oh my God. Wait a second. Wait a second. That move looks familiar. That move looks familiar. No, no, oh, come on. Dave, after what we just saw, I know you likely didn't see much, but is there anything you can tell us about the attack? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling fine, thanks for asking. Uh, but to answer your question, no. No, I didn't get a look at the coward who jumped me from behind. But I have this deep feeling in my gut that it was that bald-headed wannabe trucker Jason Barker. Look, I can't prove that right now, but I'm sure as hell gonna find out. So whoever the hell jumped me, just know I'm coming for ya. Well, alright, I think... Oh my god. No! All right, all right, try to regather my thoughts here. This stupid theme song just sent me for a little bit of a ride. But was that Jason Barker? Like, okay, like, I, I have to admit, we couldn't get a clear picture of him. But he did hit the Alabama Slamma. He did hit the Southern Stunner. It leads me to believe that it is very likely it was Jason Barker. I, I have to believe Dave Rue is going to get to the bottom of it. But man, just a dastardly evil attack earlier today. The lights weren't even on. Yeah, FTL, everyone. I'm actually really curious. Are you guys ETL or FTL? Let's do the poll. Wait a second. Oh, what the hell has he been forced to wear? What the hell has Steve Taylor done to this man? The servant of fate has arrived. But this guy doesn't seem... He doesn't seem all that different. He's just... He doesn't have his crown anymore. That is a cheap looking suit, isn't it? Agreed, Lottie Fi. Oh, no. Oh. Uh. I'm, I'm just gonna take a little nap here. The King. Oh my god, the longest entrance in the CMU. It's Steve Taylor. Oh my god. Snooze fest up in here. 
the billionaire king on his way to the ring. Well, if you have to go to the bathroom, if you have to do anything like that, now's the time. Also, now is the time for an ad. So if you guys get an ad, great. If you don't, then it's time for me to plug my own stuff. So my friends, if you really enjoy the CMU, you enjoy what is being produced here, I wanna kindly ask you to please make sure you leave a like on this video. Also, please, my friends, if you have not done so, drop a subscription on this channel, turn on your notifications so you never miss another thing. And then if you would like to continue to see the CMU be here each and every single week, consider becoming either, either a member on this channel or consider dropping a super chat to support this series. Thank you very much for your continued support, my friends. Now the billionaire is still on his way to the ring. Holy cow. Take your time. Take your time. Also, everyone, I just released a tweet. It would be really great if you could head on over to twitter.com slash conman167. Favorite and retweet my latest tweet. It's about the CMU. Here you go. So, it is a two-on-one handicap match here tonight. King of Fate versus Ross Blocks. Very unfortunate for Ross, but remember a little bit ago, we were supposed to get a one-on-one -on -one match between King of Fate, or now the Servant of Fate, against Ross Blocks. And that match was interrupted by the aforementioned Steve Taylor. So now we're getting it, but it's a two-on-one handicap scenario where Servant of Fate has to do anything Steve Taylor says. Uh-oh, what's he thinking here? Servant of, wait, SOF. What is Servant thinking of doing? Fate! Oh, what a freaking forearm, man! Like, good lord! Driving his forearm right there into the face of Ross Blocks. That had to hurt. I can't imagine that that was too nice. It definitely didn't tickle. And now King of Fate grabbing Ross Blocks by the back of the neck. However, he slides down the back of... See, I really want to call him King of Fate. Down the back of Servant of Fate. But he's not a king anymore, is he? Oh my! German suplex from Ross Blocks. And a very good back and forth match to start off this show. I, I guess it's not really to start off this show. It's to start off this match. Good back and forth action. But Ross taking advantage here. And Servant of Fate just dropped down right on his knee. What is Ross thinking of doing? However, Servant of Fate not going to let him do anything. My key key or my key MC says hashtag free Ross. Wait a second. Oh no. Uh oh. Ross looks like he's gonna try to free himself by going all the way to the top rope. Here he is. Boom. Down to the floor. A murder suplex from Servant of Fate just drops him down. Man, that had to hurt. KTP, my man. Thank you very much for that, that donation right there. I hope you're doing wonderful. If I'm not mistaken, you've got a YouTube channel, don't you? You're like, you're sitting around the 10,000 subscriber mark, if I remember correctly. Either that or I'm uh, remembering someone else. But KTP, I'm going to have to check out some of your content. I've seen you pop up a few times. I hope you're having a wonderful day, buddy. Now, here's Servant of Fate. Into the corner he goes. Oh, that's a big drop kick. That's a big time drop kick right there to Ross. And wait, he lifts him up. No. No. Oh, Ross blocks. Punches right there. Form right to the face. And then into the corner, Ross gets thrown. Serving a fate, those sidestepped. Ross turns him around again. Up on his shoulders, right in front of Steve Taylor and a hurricanrana right down. There he goes. Now Servant of Hate throwing him into the corner and a forearm to the face of SOF as well. This is so weird. I've been so used to calling him King of Fate, but Ross Blocks is going to try to make the former king tap out. Servant of Fate is caught, but Fate finds his way out of that one. And Ross just hung up on that middle rope. Look at this. Alt looking to drive his elbow into the top of his head. However, he cannot do it. Ross slides out from... Holy cow! Oh, whoa, 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 where did that come from? 
a beautiful Spanish fly from Ross. And now Ross is going to go to the outside. Ross is telling him to get up. He's over here saying, Ross can. Phenomenal forearm delivered to the face. And that's going to set it up. Ross trying to go all the way to the top rope. But look at Steve. Look at Steve distracting Ross. Distracting him. Not allowing him to do his thing. Full on distracting him. Oh, and that moment allows Servant of Fate to take advantage. And, oh, gets his knees up on Ross Blocks. The distraction was there. But Ross ain't done yet. Inside Cradle, here he goes. Into the cover, count of two. Steve Taylor shockingly breaks that up. Oh, I wonder if Steve Taylor is pissed off that he just had to save Servant of Fate. No way. Uh-oh, guys. Yeah, Steve Taylor's like, I'm not going to save you twice. Here comes Ross in another form to the face. And again, now Ross has gotten too smart. He's like, I know what I got to do. I got to go up to the other side. If I'm going to fly, oh my god, oh no! Ross, you unlucky bugger, you took the referee out. And Steve Taylor's going to take full advantage. Ross blocks, accidentally kicked Scott in the face. The referee just got booted in the jaws. He came down off the top rope. And that did not allow him to take advantage. But now he's going after Steve Taylor. Oh my God, Ross, what a sunset flip bomb. What a beautiful move. Back inside the ring goes Ross. Servant of Fate, though, is going to take advantage. Servant of Fate, no. German suplex reversed there by Ross. Ross is right back up to his feet. Ross with an uppercut there on SOF. Now again, another Spanish fly delivered. Come on, go to the top rope, dude. Make your mark. Show the world what you can do there, Ross Box. Now again, up to his feet. Ross, underhooks, locked and loaded, backbreaker delivered. Ross set it up. No, don't go over there again, dude. What are you thinking, man? What are you thinking? Ross for another form, that's three. But again, dude, did you not learn? Did you not learn from the last time? Steve Taylor distracting him and another time. Ross runs into the knees of SOF. Servant of fate throws him into the corner, runs into a back elbow. Ross now looking to throw him into the opposite corner. Forearm of his own. What a match this has been. Drop that like for this matchup. SOF with a forearm again. Ross blocks thrown into the corner. Wait a second. Wait a second. You don't think, you don't think Steve Taylor's gonna ask to be tagged in just for the pinfall, do you? Oh, there's the drop kick from Servant of Fate. And what if, wait a second. Steve Taylor's calling for it. Steve Taylor, no! Oh my god, this is insult to injury from Steve Taylor. Not only is he going to try to steal the pinfall, but he's going to use Servant of Fate's own finishing maneuver. The coup de grace from Taylor into the cover. Steve Taylor, you little prick. Steve Taylor takes all the glory. Stay there. Turn your back. I said turn your back, damn it. You will learn your place. No goofy ass suit is gonna change you overnight. You're still the same wannabe king you were before. You need to learn. And for you to learn, you need to be broken. Oh, come on, Steve. Dude, dude. Come on, no! No! Just... No, 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 no!
This is hard to watch. Steve, come on. Somebody's got to stop this. Anyone. Oh, God damn it. This is just the start. If you do not get your act in order, learn your role. You're my servant. What I tell you to do, you do it. Now get up. I said get up. Oh, my God. What, are, what is he going to do? What else is Steve? Put the bat down, man. Put the bat down. Steve. Good. Now go. Oh, my God. Wait. King of Fate's going to actually listen. Fate's going to leave the ring with Steve. Oh, my God. Wait, is... Did Fate actually listen to Steve Taylor? Well, I, I'm a little bit shocked at what we just saw there from Steve Taylor and the former King of Fate, now the Servant of Fate. I'm, uh, to be quite honest, I'm a little bit disgusted to see not only Steve Taylor's actions, but King of Fate leave at the end of it on his own two feet but with Steve Taylor I don't know what to say about that everyone but here's Dance and Wave and they're gonna get a tag team title opportunity But they gotta beat this team again. Remember just one week ago, they found a way to defeat the undefeated wild animals. Well, they're no longer undefeated, are they? But they are still the tag team champions. And down to the ring they go. I hope you guys are all doing wonderful here today. What you up to? Anything special? Lottie Fi says I'm really interested in this match. Good stuff. I think it's time for the pulls as well. Here we go. Get your bets in. Bet yeah. wild or bet dance in this live chat. On the way to the ring at a combined weight of 571 pounds. Hey, Tom yeah. Goldie. How you doing, buddy? And Glad to welcome you to the live stream. I hope you guys. continue to enjoy it. Yeah. The monster and their opponents. See you later, KTP. Have a good sleep, buddy. 27 pounds. They are the champions, Ali and the Bruiser. There they are, Joseph P. Ali and Grady Dose, the wild animals. Here we are, everyone. Tag team titles are on the line. Titles are raised up high. Referee, ring the bell. Here we go. We have good old Jack starting things off against Joseph P. Ali. Oh boy. 
This one should be pretty damn good, guys. I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you guys are as well. This show lasts for roughly about two hours today, so we have about an hour and 17 minutes remaining. So if you are just starting to get settled in, you got a lot left. Don't you worry. Crimson, welcome to Main Eventer. It's good to have you, buddy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We'll see if Sweet Knees actually does play. I hope it does. Oh, now sweeping down Jack. And a kick right there to the back as Joseph Pialli is in control over this man. This man on the ground, believe it or not, guys, is a former WWE champion. It's crazy to say. I know. I, I struggle to believe it every time I hear it. But it is true. Jack is a former WWE champion here inside of the CMU. Also to come later tonight, everyone, apparently Hunter Hand is issuing an extreme open challenge yet again. So Hunter Hand, challenge. Wonder who it's going to be accepted by. Oh, there's a shot right there to Jack. However, that's not going to be enough. Wait, what's this? What is that? Oh my god, what a crossbody from Grady Dose. And now Grady Dose. Just gonna grab Jack. I gotta I gotta take my sweater off. It's way too hot in this room at the moment, guys. So just give me two seconds, watch the match, and I'll be right back. That's much better. Much, much, much better. Woo! I was getting really warm. Oh my goodness. Grady Dose has a big old ankle lock locked in. Jack is in trouble. Oh, wait a second. No, Jack finds his way out of that one. And immediately, Jack takes him down again. This man is very sneaky in the ring. Like, extremely... Oh, no. Oh, no. You just got caught. That's not good. Grady Dose is about to wreck you. Grady's gonna kill you, but instead Jack using that exposed knee, driving it into the face of the tag team champion. Couple clotheslines from Jack. Off the ropes, takes him down. Jack! Brain Buster delivered! And into the cover he goes, but Cameron Gray is up on the side. The Brain Buster on the exposed knee from Jack has won him many matches before. But Grady Dose now slides. Oh, no! What a smart man. Instead of going to the cover, he goes right after Monster Zinc. Oh, the referee's been pulled down, and Joseph Pialli just takes out Monster Zinc. Jack now in a world of trouble. But Grady Dose can't deliver. Jack! 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 Greasy thighs delivered! One, two, broken up! Kick out, referee is down! This is madness, man! Now Jack is gonna go right back to work here. Monsters Inc. working on one half of the tag team champions, and Joseph Pialli hung up over the top rope, but Grady Dose just reversed something huge from Jack. Something massive was just reversed. Hello there, Peyton Cash. How you doing, buddy? And Jack again, up and over, down he goes. Grady Dose is wrecking him. Now throwing him into the corner. Grady Dose makes a tag, no. Oh no, Jack. Jack, good night. Sweet Jack. That's a brutal move. Oh, wait a second. Oh, Monster Zinc, though, just broke it up. And now Joseph Pialli gonna fire away on Monster Zinc. Radios rolls to the outside. Joseph Pialli formed the face of Jack. Man, I gotta admit, the wild animals have looked damn good. 
But Jack has also looked fantastic during this matchup. And if he can tag in the much larger Monster Zinc, that'd be so beneficial. And he did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wild animals. Big time clothesline delivered from Monster Zinc. And the new pace has just picked up. This big man is fresh. This big man's gonna bull you over. And this big man wants to become a tag team champion. But Joseph P. Ali sweeps him down somehow, some way. Joseph P. Ali. What is this jawbreaker? Down goes Monster Zinc. That's a big guy. But Monster Zinc now going to shove him away again. Backing up. And Joseph Piali just gets caught in the trapeze hold. Monsters Inc. with a deep, deep grab on him. That sounded gross. Now Irish Whip Reversal. Joseph P. throws him into the corner. Monster Zinc finds a way to reverse that one. Back he goes again. Oh, misses the splash. Joseph P. Backbreaker. Backbreaker. Side rush and leg sweep as well. And there is a chair in the ring. Joseph P. Ali is all of a sudden in control of this matchup. Joseph P. Joseph P. DDT to the big Monster Zinc. Lifting him back up to his feet again. Joseph P. Ali, what else are you thinking of doing? Monster Zinc in trouble. Oh my God. No way. No way! The wild animals! Look at the strength! Oh my god! How did they get him up? How in the blue hell? Jack! One, two! Can't break it up in time, but Monster Zinc kicks out! Monster Zinc kicks out! Oh my no! A spine buster delivered! Gradidos! And now we got a brawl on the outside of the ring. Jack! And Joseph P. Count a one and another kick out by Monster Zinc. Kick to the back as Dance and Wave wants to become the new tag team champions. But Gradidos wants to stop him for good. Hard clothesline by this wild animal. Waiting for him to get up, but Monster Zinc falls back down to his knees. Gradidos lifts him up instead. Hits a suplex for good measures. And now Gradidos. Ready to deliver the final blow. Good night, Monster Zinc. World strongest slam. One, two, three. And still your tag team champions. Wild animals. What a match. Raul, wait. Well done, fellas. Well done. You beat a worthless tag team after they beat you last week. Congratulations. Now, it's time to see what you can do against a real tag team. Wait, what? Oh my God. It's the dynasty. Because as you see, they're your next challengers. My boys are getting the title opportunity that we earned, and they will bring home the gold. So it's official, everyone. The dynasty is earning the title opportunity for the regime.
All right, Raul, you're good to go. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around for that. It's time for the CMU Breakout the Tournament. Brooklyn, New York. Mr. LH is here. At 225 pounds, LH. And if you take a look at this, we have the finals almost set. C Wrestling will be facing either Mr. LH or True Knowledge. Who will advance to the finals of the breakout tournament? The winner earns an opportunity at either the United States title or the Intercontinental title. Mr. LH on his way to the ring. However, he's got to take care of True Knowledge. The big brain. The big brain. And here comes the big brain. My freaking head is itchy, man. What the heck is going on? Why is it so itchy? And his opponent from Providence, Rhode Island, weighing in at 217 pounds, the brain, T-R-U. There he is, the brain. Oh, baby, true knowledge. This man snuck his way into the tournament. Remember, John Blum was supposed to have his slot, and now this fella has found his way all the way to the semifinals. How you doing, Lux7? You doing well, buddy? My thoughts on an Xavier heel turn after winning King of the Ring? Uh, potentially. I don't know if it would be too soon or if it would be the right timing. We'd have to see how the finals go. I'd like it to be the start of a slow burn for a heel turn of Xavier Woods or of the New Day. Something like that would be cool. All right, let's get the polls going. Who is going to the finals of the CMU Breakout Tournament? Who will it be? Mr. LH or True Knowledge? Here you go, guys. Do either bet mister or bet. Wait a second. Or bet true. Hang on. What the hell? I recognize that music. I think that's John Blum's music. Yeah, that's totally John Blum's music. He has not forgotten about what True Knowledge did to him. True Knowledge, turn around, dude. John Blum's in the ring. John Blum, oh my god. What a suplex. Holy cow, John Blum. He strikes and gets out of there. And Mr. LH is down to the cover. Scott, you gotta go to it, man. One, two, kick out by True Knowledge. Dang! All right, so John Blum strikes again. What the hell just happened to Mr. LH? He just fell down for some reason. But now True Knowledge is going to allow him back in the ring. And Mr. LH just chops him on the leg. Yeah, I'm sure that would hurt. Uh, lots of people asking about the CMU draw. I guess tomorrow is the 15th, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess so, guys. Yeah. Tomorrow's the 15th, so the draw is tomorrow. Seems like that works out. Uh-oh, right hand there to the face three, right hands four, right hands from True Knowledge, and True Knowledge just gonna work on the leg of Mr. LH. Yeah, things are not going well for the coach here tonight. Ghostface, good to see you, buddy. There's a stomp to the midsection from Mr. LH and a stomp there to the left arm of True Knowledge. However, True Knowledge just going to get right back up to his feet. Jawbreaker to the face or jaw. I guess it's the jaw of Mr. LH and a clothesline from behind. This is getting tough to watch. I do not want to see True Knowledge go to the finals. I do not want to see True Knowledge versus C Wrestling. Look, I'm not a big fan of Mr. LH either, but guys, True Knowledge should not have even been in this tournament. 
I don't know how it's legal for him to be here. Really makes no sense. Now Irish whip into the corner and a hard clothesline to the back of the neck. And there it is, an elbow drop onto true knowledge. TK just got caught. But now knowledge shoves it. No, no. No, 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 LH, dude, oh my god, the vertebraker. One, two, whoa. I was not expecting that. Mr. LH kicked out. How did he kick out of that one? And now is this, oh, look at the submission hold. The submission hold, the body scissors from True Knowledge on to Mr. LH. There is no escape for a man. He is caught in that deep. Mr. LH, you can feel the air being squeezed out of his body. And now where's True Knowledge going? True Knowledge! I don't expect this man to fly. What's he gonna do? Oh, an elbow drop to the top of the head. Yep. That'll do it. Lifts him right back up to his feet though. True Knowledge with the right hand. True, wait, what? True Knowledge! Oh, he caught him! He got caught! He got caught! Mr. LH with a spike DDT! Down goes True Knowledge! TK just got spiked into the mat. And now, into the cover. Count of one. Count of two and another kick out by True Knowledge. Holy cow, man. Remember guys, if you're enjoying this video, drop a like on this one right now. Also, look at Mr. LH twisting him down. The coach's play just got caught. Did True Knowledge two. Oh, big time kick out from TK. And this thing is not done yet. But remember my friends, if you're enjoying this show and you would like to see it continue to run week in and week out, consider dropping a super chat donation. Be much appreciated. And a neck breaker delivered. I don't know how this match is not done. They've both hit some of their best moves, haven't they? But Mr. LH, shoulder tackle. Jawbreaker from True Knowledge. Knowledge overhead belly to belly throw. And this man's a thinker. The big brain. And there's a boot to the side of the jaw. Spear. Damn, what a hard hitting match. Seriously, both of these superstars want to find their way to the finals. They want to go and face C Wrestling. It's possible. Both men are in control, if you could argue that. And now True Knowledge sweeps him down. What a good fight. And look at this. Mr. LH just trying to get back up to his feet. Wait a second. Wait a second, Mr. LH gonna try to pick his mark. Mr. LH, there it is, there it is. He picked his mark, here it comes. Spike DDT. Mr. LH just caught him. And true knowledge in a world of trouble. Down into the cover he goes, count a one, count a two, and a kick out again by true knowledge. My God, what a match. But there's one more move that I think the coach can try to hit. Throwing him into the corner. He's trying to set it up right now. Oh, maybe he's going for something different. I guess the coach has a different play because ladies and gentlemen, we're about to witness another murder. The murder plex delivered from Mr. LH. The coach is in control and look at the pose. The pose from the coach, his hands out to the side. Now lifting him up to his feet. Uppercut catching Mr. LH, forearm to the face. But now True Knowledge gonna wrestle him back. True Knowledge kick right to the midsection. Elbow drop there from Mr. LH. Punch reversed there by True Knowledge. TK with another right hand. Another right hand from Knowledge. 
And he's gonna lay some knowledge into Mr. LH, isn't he? Throws him back in the ring. True knowledge. TK. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Did you see the punches right to the ear? That's got a ring, you silly! No! No! Reverse though by Mr. LH. Slides down the back there of true knowledge. True knowledge. Caught. Thrown into the corner. What are you thinking now? This can't be good. This cannot be good. Boot right to the top of the dome. Right hand to the face. True knowledge. Goes for a German. Mr. LH rolls right around the back. He's caught him. Dropped him down. What a reverse DDT. But true knowledge not going to allow him to stay down. Right back up to his feet. TK now grabbing a hold of his arm. Elbow drop right onto the point of the arm. But now there it is. A punch to the midsection. Drop kick delivered from the coach. What a match this is. Elbow drop to the heart. Both of these superstars looking to break out and there's only one way to truly break out in the CMU and that is put on barn burner matches after barn burner matches. And tonight these two are putting on an absolute classic in the CMU. Mr. LH now trying to drive the final blow. Here he goes again, Mr. LH. Spike DDT just split open true knowledge. Knowledge in a world of trouble. Back up to his feet now. Mr. LH, what else is he thinking? Oh, back elbow splits him open as well. True knowledge, it's an even game. We got blood on both sides. Kick to the midsection. True knowledge sweeps him down. And true knowledge got the heel hook in. Heel hook is locked in. Will Mr. LH tap out to the heel hook? No, instead he drives his boot into the side of his head. Back up to his feet. Right hand sweeps him down. And then locks in the side headlock. But LH, not able to hold it on tight enough. Couple elbows to the midsection will split him away. Now LH grabs him up on his shoulders. Knowledge is in trouble, hung up over that top rope. I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to breathe after that, crushing the windpipes across those top ropes, but a kick out at two and a half. Mr. LH is reeling. True knowledge in trouble. Oh, backbreaker! Backbreaker delivered! True knowledge, no, boot to the face, no sold, no sold. No, LH in trouble, LH doesn't see him. Mr. LH caught, true knowledge, third up breaker. Game, set, match, the finals, C wrestling versus true knowledge. What a match. Woo! Are you kidding me? Barn burner. Absolute barn burner. And true knowledge survives and advances. Wow. Quick question, guys. Has my camera been skipping a lot today? Like, it looks like it's been skipping a decent amount. Here is your winner, the Brain T-R-U. Well, are you ready, my friends, for the Giants Battle Royale? The Giants Battle Royale. These are some of the largest superstars that we have in the CMU. Not the absolute largest, but some of the largest. And here comes, oh, well that's Ahmed, but here comes Lottify. So Ahmed, a former Number one contender for that world title. And here is Lottie Fi. Who else is going to be in this thing? Oh, this could be a favorite. 
This could be a favorite to enter and win this battle royal. Weighing in at 298 pounds, the Nightmare. There it is. It's Nightmare Inferno. Good lord. Oh! Talk about a big dude. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Raw! Legit, guys, pay attention to my my face cam and let me know if it's like lagging. If like it if it skips at all, like if it's skipping right now, it feels like it is. I don't know why. It doesn't look all that smooth on my end. Oh wait, who else is coming down? But wait. It's Steve K. Weighing in at 335 pounds. Steve. Yeah, my camera's skipping a lot. I'm gonna unplug it, plug it back in. I think that's better. I think that is better. Just still trying to figure out the new camera and there might be issues. Oh wait, here comes Byronite! Weighing in at 200 million dollars! The diamond! Oh man, it does automatically turn off my that's weird. I don't like that. My automatic exposure. I'm not sure. I, I'm going to have to do some stuff with this camera. But Byronite. Getting an opportunity. This is another big dude, isn't it? Make a million dollar moves. All right, everyone. Drop that like. Make sure you subscribe. Consider dropping a super chat if you want to see the series continue week in and week out. Thank you very much. Here we go, everyone. Who do you think is going to win the Giants Battle Royale? Any one of these six men can win. Holy cow, Robert Briggs looking to dump Byronite over the top rope. Lottie fight. Look at the size of these six men. This ring had to be reinforced for this Battle Royale. There was no way this Battle Royale was going to be able to happen with this amount of weight in there without it being reinforced. Byronite slapping Robert Briggs. Robert Briggs, though, taking the fight here to Byronite. And remember, everyone, on the line is a chance at the Intercontinental title that is held by Antonio Coleman. Nightmare Inferno obviously has had issues with Antonio Coleman. Steve K is a man who actually fights alongside of Antonio Coleman. However, you look at two superstars like Lottify and Byronite. These are two guys that could easily be a front runner for a future champion someday. This might be their time to shine. Wait a second, Robert Briggs throws Steve K over the top rope. And then of course we cannot forget about Ahmed, the former number one contender for the world heavyweight title. Ahmed shoving down Byronite right hand there as Steve K finds his way back inside the ring. Right hands there from Nightmare Inferno. However, Nightmare Inferno turned around and a right hand from it. Lottify. Lottify now caught in the grips of Inferno. Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Steve K just eliminated Robert Briggs! That's gotta be the biggest shock! That's one of the biggest shocks in the history of the CMU! Steve K just eliminated Robert Briggs and now Ahmed being lifted up by both Lottify and Byronite but the two younger superstars cannot get him out of that ring. Now Steve K has Nightmare Inferno. Remember the issues that Nightmare Inferno and the cult have against each other. Steve K would love to do Antonio Coleman's bidding and eliminate Nightmare Inferno here, wouldn't he? But Ahmed, look at the size of this ham hock. 
Lottie fine now, trying to wrestle him over the top. However, he reverses him, and Ahmed just slams down Lottie Fai. Reversed again, Steve K. Oh my god! Lottie Fai! Lottie Fai over, and Ahmed just eliminated Lottie Fai! We are down to four! Lottie Fai could not survive the tank, Ahmed. But wait a second, Nightmare Inferno. Look at the strength. Eternal Nightmare delivered to Ahmed. Byronite in trouble. Steve K has him in his grips. Steve K has Byronite right there. Oh, no way. Byronite lifted over the head of Steve K. This monster just threw him down. And the jackhammer from Ahmed. Two Nightmare Inferno, we are down to three. These are three big men. It's either gonna be Nightmare Inferno versus Antonio Coleman, Ahmed versus Coleman, or Steve K. And Steve K is in this ring playing defense for Antonio, you can say, but Ahmed just pulls him over. Now Nightmare Inferno caught in the gaze of Ahmed. The tank rolling, right hand there, punch the midsection. Nightmare Inferno with a forearm to the face. I can't believe this, but I, I wanna see Nightmare Inferno win. I can't believe what I'm saying. Nightmare has him up. Nightmare running. Nightmare just eliminated Ahmed. We are down to two. It's either gonna be Nightmare Inferno, the man who's had the issues with Antonio Coleman, or will it be a member of the cult himself? Will it be Steve K? Steve K now looking to eliminate Nightmare Inferno. Nightmare Inferno hanging on. Steve K has it, shoving his boot in the midsection. But Nightmare Inferno finds his way back in the ring. Inferno looking to make his way back to the IC title. No, Steve K! Steve K! Oh my God! What in the world? Steve K, what a slam! How did he get the big man off his feet for that long? Oh, there's a couple of boots right there to the midsection. The exposed feet from Steve K. But Inferno back up to his feet. Steve has him on his shoulders, sliding down the back. There you go, Inferno. Side Russian leg sweep delivered. Back up to his feet. Come on, Inferno. Inferno's got him. Inferno, put him up against the ropes. Come on, Nightmare. Come on, Nightmare. Nightmare. Here he goes. Yeah. Nightmare Inferno is the number one contender for the Intercontinental title. Nightmare Inferno outlasted all the other giants. And Inferno is qualified to face Antonio Coleman. That is massive for the career of Inferno. Absolutely massive. The Giants Battle Royale, the first ever. Here is your, your winner, winner. The Nightmare. Nightmare. Mr. Tornicane, you wanted my attention, right? Now, why exactly is that? Is it because you've seen your stock fall so far down the card lately that you feel you can make a name off me? Yeah, that sounds about right. You're really the saddest excuse for a Grand Slam champion I've ever seen. Pathetic. You don't deserve a match against me. No, no, in fact, you know what? Tonight, I'm issuing another extreme open challenge to any wrestler in the world except for Mr. Tornicane. Oh yeah, and Torn, dude, if you interfere in this match, you will forfeit any chance of fighting me again inside the CMU from here on out. So have fun with that one, you lunatic. Oh, okay, so we're gonna get another extreme open challenge. But anyone in the wrestling world except for Hunter Hand can answer. God, you gotta kinda feel bad, or sorry, anyone in the world except for Mr. Tornicane can answer. You gotta kinda feel bad, right? Like, goodness me. 
But here we are. It's time for your cruiserweight champion. It's time for Jason Lyle. And hey oh, we have Leo Hushang over here. Welcome to Team Green, my man. Leo, Leo. The WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Jason. But the Cruiserweight Champ has arrived. We're about to witness Tornado Tag Team action here tonight. I don't know why Sweet Knees isn't working, guys. No idea. It should be. One and his and partner only. from Staten Island, New York, weighing in at 202 pounds, the Prince. So here he is, Monte Prince, the number one contender for the cruiserweight title. Leo Hoshang says, how do I get into the CMU DraftCon? You're in, just like that, by becoming a member. So if you're a basic supporter, which you are, you get one entry into the CMU draw. If you are a main eventer, you get two entries into the draw. And if you're a part of Legends Row, you get three entries into the draw. Oh boy. This one should be good, but the tag team action we're about to see, like I said, is tornado tag team action. And they're gonna be taking on ELK and DND. Can the champion and challenger coexist together? And their opponent, at a combined weight of 417 pounds, D. So here they are, everyone. DND and ELK. So, do either bet ELK or bet Lyle here in this live chat. Bet ELK or bet Lyle. Wait a second. Oh, my God. DND just driving his knee into the side of Jason Lyle. And Monte Prince going after ELK to start things off early on. Hey, Steve Taylor. How you doing, man? I've been enjoying my well-earned break from the ring, but I cannot wait for my return for my dear fans. What fans, Ghostface? What fans? <laughs> Kanye Jackson says, do you have to be a member to be in the CMU draw? No, not necessarily. We do have the ability to redeem con coins in order to enter the CMU draw as well. So just by watching the streams and by winning a couple gambles, by winning a couple trivia things, you could enter the CMU. Also, by the way, guys, I'm really excited to, uh, to announce that we're going to make the trivia stuff a pretty common occurrence in our WWE Watch Along live streams. Commercial breaks are a perfect time when we need to fill the time. So, trivia is going to be a thing in our streams. Which is fun. There's a stomp right there to the back of ELK. And wait a second. ELK up and over. Sunset flip bomb delivered. Monte Prince just got wrecked. And now DND gonna do the same to Jason Lyle. Just throws him up and over his head and down into the mat. Now ELK just gonna stomp away on Monte Prince on the outside of the ring. Into the corner. Wait a second. Jason Lyle's just gonna hug the referee for some reason. No, D&D. 
taking the fight to the champion. What is this? Oh my god, the spider suplex! We've seen that before from DD. All the way up! Big time! Front splash delivered! Deep into the cover he goes. Count of one, but broken up by Monte. All right. DD now. Gonna. Actually, that's ELK. ELK gonna take down Monte Prince as the submission hold is locked in here, but Monte Prince gonna break that up. Playing massive defense, that's what you like to see. Will the CMU still have TLC because WWE has removed the TLC pay-per-view due to the New Year's pay-per-view? Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll have to let you know. Probably. I think we're still going to have a TLC pay-per-view. Hey, yo, we've got ourselves gaming with Master Skull over here. Dude, thank you so much for that $15 donation. That is incredibly kind of you. That is really, really kind. Thank you so much, my friend. ELK crossbody delivered. Now into the cover he goes. Count of two. Kick out by Monte Prince. And look at DD just hanging the champion up on the side of the barricade. Wait. ELK looking for him to get back up. No way. Oh my god. ELK float over DDT. That's going to be it. Into the cover he goes. Count of one. Count of two. Jason Lyle can't break it up in time. And the champion and challenger lose. DND &D and ELK just beat the champion and challenger. Well, 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 wait a second. Lyle isn't happy with that one. Oh, Lyle doesn't like that. No way. Jason Lyle, you know what, guys? I think Lyle is beyond pissed off that he just earned a loss. Monte Prince was the one who was pinned. Wow. Watch how close here. He slid in the ring. Jason Lyle was about one and a half seconds behind being able to break that up. Crazy. Time for an open challenge. Holy cow. Making his way to the ring. What a great Honolulu, show so far. Hawaii, weighing in at 242 pounds. Hunter. So here comes the man with the hand of a thousand sons, a former WWE champion, and he is issuing an open challenge to anyone in the CM not even in the CMU anyone in the world of wrestling he has issued an open challenge who is gonna answer tonight take your pick in the live chat Here we go, let's find out. Oh my God! Yeah, it is! Tell me it is! That's Rey Mysterio's music! That's his Titan Tron! Come on! It's Rey Mysterio! Oh, cow, yeah! Let's go! The master of the 619. Dial it up, everyone. Hunter Hand versus Ray Ray. Oh, this is a big one. Huge. The biggest underdog ever. This guy is a legend. Unreal, everyone. So here we go. Get your votes in for who do you think it's going to be. Bet. Ray. Bet. Hand. Here we go. And remember, 
Mr. Tornikane cannot get involved in this matchup. Otherwise, Mr. Tornikane will be barred from ever getting an opportunity against Hunter Hand in the future. Remember, Hunter Hand does have the CEO con in his back pocket, so he can swing things like this. Wait a second. All right, we got ourselves a $15 donation. Thank you very, very much there, Gaming with Master Skull. That is so incredibly kind of you. Thank you, thank you. Ready for Keith Lee's sound? Wait a second, it's Extreme Rules! Oh, Sledgehammer! <laughs> Woo! We hit that one. But Rey Mysterio kicking him right on the back. And then a hard clothesline delivered from Hunter Hand across the jaw. And now just a stomp right there. And an elbow drop to the back of Rey Mysterio. Kick there again to the back as Hunter Hand just drops down Rey Mysterio's left arm. Ray though kicks him in the face and a hard clothesline to the outside of the ring. That's something Ray Mysterio likes to do. Wait, no, Ray Mysterio. Remember, this is extreme rules. There's a bat, but Hunter Hand moves out of the way. Oh, he eats the bat to the face. Ray Mysterio using every weapon in his possible. Like, what the hell, do DDT as well? Every weapon that he could possibly use, Ray Mysterio is putting his hands on right now and then throws. Hunter Hand down to the mat. Come on, Ray Ray. Kick right there, but Hunter Hand just catches the leg and a dragon screw leg whip delivered. Right hand block. Hand back inside the ring. Both of them go. Now Hand goes for the brain buster, but Ray Mysterio countered that one. He'll kick out of nowhere. And Ray Mysterio's gonna fly. Come on, little Ray Ray. Do your worst. Come on, dude. Leg drop across the neck. Ouch. Ooh, that's gonna shatter your windpipe into the cover. Count of two and another kick out by Hunter Ann. Drop kick there to the back of the shoulder. Ray Mysterio can't catch him again. And a clothesline from the man with the hand of a thousand suns. This guy sometimes is just too damn good. Ray Mysterio eats a right hand by Hunter Hand and now just drops him down. A bit of a knee shatterer. What a DDT. Oh my God, Ray Mysterio. Nicely done. Come on, Ray Ray. Grab that bat again. Lift it up and hit him in the face. Like, just do what you do best. Use the bat. There it is. Too, little too late. Oh, dude. He didn't want to use the bat anymore, I guess. But then a right hand there from Rey Mysterio. Flip. What a hurricanrana! Holy cow, man. Right on the bat as well. Rey Mysterio is giving it his all. There is no doubt about that. There's a spin kick and a drop kick. And again, right on the bat, another hurricanrana. Rey Mysterio is laying it all on the line here in this match. And imagine if Rey Mysterio was able to shut up Hunter Hand. Wouldn't that make the world super happy? Hunter Hand is a loud mouth with no championship gold anymore to back it up. Count of two, kick out by Hand. Woo! Talk about a late kick out. Back up to his feet. Hunter Hand now sweeps down Rey Mysterio. Hand just so proud of his handiwork, if you will. Stop right there. No, come, no, 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 literally lifting him up by the mask. Rey Mysterio's done. One, two, damn. Damn it, man. Damn it. And Hunter Hand picks up the win again.
Boo. Boo. What a showing from Rey Mysterio, but it just wasn't enough. Hunter Hands on another level right now. Has been for quite some time. What a call from King of Fate. He says that Hunter Hand is literally becoming the CMU's legend killer. You're not wrong, man. You are not wrong. He has ended Undertaker, Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, and now Rey Mysterio. Here is your winner, Hunter. Oh, oh, here he is. Mr. Tornicane running down Tornicane. And the match is over now. Mr. Tornicane looking to get some. Tornicane goes for the Claymore. He couldn't land it. But hand, oh my God, no, a headbutt. Headbutt to the back of the head. Hunter Ann just throws him down. Mr. Tornicane is in trouble. No, Hunter Ann. Hunter Ann, the quick strikes. Some more quick strikes. Another punch to the face. Hunter, oh my God. Hunter Ann just hits him with the claw slam. And it's for the WWE Television Championship. Are you ready for the television title? Our second last match of the evening. Are you ready for the new foundation? Nightcore failed previously. Now it's Kevin Langhoff's time. If, if Crossbow is able to defeat Kevin Langhoff, he will have successfully defended the titles three times. I think. Let's take a look through and just double check that. Two, yes. So if he does defend his title tonight, it will be his third successful defense, and he will only be two away from being able to cash it in and get an opportunity at the WWE title or World Heavyweight title. Remember, the rules of the TV title are as simple as this. When you win the title, you have to defend it every single week here on CMU TV. Every time you are in singles action, the title is on the line. And of course, if you successfully defend the title five times, you earn an opportunity at the WWE title or the World Heavyweight title. But only two men in history have been able to defend this title five times successfully in a row. Only two men. First was Monster Zinc, and he failed to win the title. Second was Ahmed, and he failed to win the title. Will Crossbow be the third? Can he get past Kevin Langhoff tonight? And if you're enjoying the show, my friends, do me a favor, leave a like on this video. Also, making sure you are subscribed to the channel. And if you would really like to, you can always drop a little super chat donation or become a member to support this series. If you become a member, you get a chance of entering this series every single month. If you drop a super chat, you just directly support this channel. It's like a tip at a piano bar, right? Some dude is playing piano for two hours. You're going to maybe drop him a 10. It's the same idea, not required, but if you would like to, you more so can. That's what Super Chat's there for. All right, everyone, Crossbow, your TV champion. Fingers to the sky. This guy might very well be a future world champion again. He is a former world champ.
Leo Hoshang says, Khan, if I get picked in the CMU draft tomorrow, do you create the character or do I choose the gimmick? So usually what happens is I start you off with a base character of something. And then we kind of evolve the character from there. So if you wish to participate in the live chats and help mold your character, by all means do so. At the end of the day, it is completely on me to book the stories, to book the characters, to make it how they look, all that stuff. But you can have fun and play along in the live chat if your character does get chosen. Or if your name does get chosen. See you later, Brian. It's betting time. Introducing the challenger from Green Bay, Wisconsin, weighing in at 225 pounds, Kevin. Introducing the champion, from Norman, Oklahoma, weighing in at 268 pounds, he is the WWE Television Champion, the Super Athlete. All right. Let's do this thing. There it is. The precious television title. The CMU TV title. Referee, ring that bell. And here we go, Kevin Langoff and Crossbow in the second last match of the evening tonight. We have 21 minutes remaining in the show. Uh-oh. Nice shot there from Kevin Langoff as he stomps him down. Right hand there to the back of the head of Crossbow and back up to his feet. And he already catches him, sweeping down Crossbow into the mat. But Crossbow again, hard clothesline, knocking down Kevin Langoff. And this, this match, honestly, look, I don't mean to crap on Kevin Langoff, okay? I really don't. But Kevin Langoff doesn't have a chance in hell. All right, I'm sorry. Crossbow is just like, boom, up here these days. That crossfire that he has that can catch you out of nowhere, it, there's not a chance in hell. See you later, Thaddeus Gangster. And look at the clothesline from Crossbow, knocking Kevin Langoff to the outside of the ring. I think the only thing Kevin Langoff possibly has going for him is if he can catch Crossbow in a predicament that I don't think, whoa, like that, that I don't think Crossbow was expecting himself to be found in. And now, Kevin Lang off. Oh, what a slam! That was like a manhandle slam, wasn't it? Sort of close. Now catching him from behind the overhead throw. See you later, Gaming with Master Skull. Thanks again for that 15 bomb, buddy. That's the biggest dono we've had in a couple weeks. Appreciate it, my man. Now into the cover, count of one, and a kick out there. Rolling through. Oh! Did you see the Langhoff Lariat? Did you see that clothesline? He got every bit of that one. Headbutt there to the face. Kevin Langhoff sweeps him down again. And there's a kick right to the middle of the back. Langhoff, he's going for it. The captain's hook, captain's hook is in. Captain's hook deep in on crossbow. Will crossbow tap out? I don't know, man. Oh, Crossbow driving the point of his elbow up into the jaw of Kevin Langhoff and then follows it up with a nasty German suplex. Wait a second. Nightcore trying to distract the referee. Crossbow going for it. Looking for the crossfire. There it is. Crossfire on the jaw. But Nightcore. Nightcore going to play full defense here for Kevin Langhoff. 
This is huge. Kevin Langhoff able to take full advantage. Got wrench down into the ground. Nightcore might have just saved the match for Kevin Langhoff. Now Langhoff working on the neck here of Crossbow. After eating the crossfire to the jaw. Langhoff, what else does he have in mind? Kevin Langhoff with the clothesline. Another clothesline delivered. Off the ropes, three lariats from Langhoff. You know he loves those lariats. Now Kevin looking to throw him into the corner. Not sure what he had in mind. Instead, he's just going to get wrestled to the ground by Crossbow. Kick right there to the chest. Another kick to the chest. But Kevin Langhoff grabs him by the shoulders and puts him up on his and then drapes him down over the top rope. Kevin Langhoff in very good control. However, oh, there it is. Splitting him wide open. Crossbow now smells blood in the water like a damn shark. Crossbow is going to focus in on this head. Look at the split face of Kevin Langhoff. Oh, oh my God. Kick to the back. Langhoff moves out of the way. Kevin Langhoff went for a German suplex. But from behind again, Crossbow going to work him. Reversal by Kevin Langhoff. Floats around. Suplex. Hanging him up on the top rope. And Kevin Langhoff is in control all of a sudden. Back inside the ring. Kick to the midsection. No one home. Crossbow is in trouble. Crossbow in a world of trouble. Here it comes. Langhoff Lariat. He got a lot on that one. It might be enough to the cover he goes. Two. Kick out by Crossbow. And this match is still going on, everyone. We ain't done yet. Back up to their feet. Kevin Langhoff. Turns crossbow around. What is this? Right hand. What? Oh, we're going. We're going for a murder. Plex to the outside. Damn, what a match. What a fight, everyone. This has been incredible. What a night of the CMU. What has been your favorite moment so far here tonight, everyone? Let me know in this live chat. Cody Begg, my man, how you doing? Good to see you again. There's a spin kick. There's a kick right there to the leg. Crossbow now decides to slide back inside the ring as Kevin Langhoff is a little dazed. Crossbow just doing something. A little jive, I guess. Back inside the ring, though, Kevin Langhoff comes. Oh, he went for the crossfire! Crossbow was going for the crossfire. However, Langhoff moved out of the way. Now up against the ropes again. Right hand from Kevin Langhoff. Langhoff. What is this? Drapes him over the middle rope. Now brings him right back down. And a knee to the face. Back up. Uppercut delivered. Crossbow throws him into the corner. Off the ropes. And a big power slam. This might just be a matter of time now. Crossbow is honing in on this one. Crossbow going for it. German into the cover. Whoa, again. Nightcore. Crossbow would have won. Crossbow would have won. Nightcore has saved the match twice now. Unbelievable how Nightcore has paid massive dividends for Kevin Langhoff, but now Langhoff in a world of trouble. This is the crossfire. Right hand at the top of the dome. Holy cow. No way. Langhoff. No. No. Oh my God. He's going for it. Muscle Buster. No. No way. Not like this. Not after crossbow at the match one. Two! No! Oh my god! Kevin Langhoff is the new television champion! He just beat Crossbow! Oh my god! The hopes of Crossbow being the third man to defend the TV title successfully five times is over. 
and you cannot say Kevin Langoff got it done by himself. His new foundation member in Nightcore saved him. That muscle buster was brutal. Main event time. Introducing first, from Manchester, England, weighing in at 200 pounds, D. Man. So here we go, everyone. Main event, six man tag team action. Up next, we're going to see Retro Demand, Amity, and. Kevin Walker, the World Heavyweight Champion, go three on three against the Rapture. This one's gonna be good. Here comes a midi, a midi, a midi. And from Anaheim, California, weighing in at 196 pounds, the Anomaly. This theme bops, doesn't it? Me too, Kenny. I'm looking forward to it, man. Oh yeah, everyone, I forgot to mention. So tomorrow, Minecraft is happening. It's just, it's gonna happen at a little bit later of time. I'm able to go see my friend's baby tomorrow. Uh, it was supposed to happen on Tuesday, but as you guys are aware, somebody tried to break into our house on Monday. And so we were setting up a bunch of stuff on Tuesday. So I couldn't go see him then. So I'm seeing him tomorrow. That means Minecraft is going to be a little bit later in the day. All right. And their partner from Providence, Rhode Island, weighing in at 202 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, Devin Walker. Here he is, everyone, your world heavyweight champion. So who will win? It's going to be either Tevin, Amity, and Retro. Or will it be the Rapture? There we are, everyone. You are staring into the faces of fear. The villain, the number one contender for Tevin Walker's world heavyweight title. That goes down at CMU Halloween Havoc. October 28th, 2021. Two weeks time, get ready.
There they are, everyone. What a freaky deaky bunch of gut but a little bit too. These guys are just messing my words up so much, they're so freaky. Like they they, they suck. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. These guys, what have they accomplished in the CMU? Other than villain being like one of the longest reigning United States champions of all time in the CMU. That's a little footnote. What have they accomplished? As a unit, nothing. I think the heart and soul and spirit are going to be able to put them in their place. But also, at the same time, heart and soul and spirit of Tevin Walker, Amity, and Retro to Man did fail to beat the dynasty beforehand. Well, here we go. These three are together again. And let's see what happens. Get your bets in. Do either Bet Retro or Bet Rapture here in this live chat for whoever you think is going to win this match. I've seen a lot of people asking me, will I be able to stream the buy-in as well as SmackDown? Um, I think I'm going to try to cover as much as possible tomorrow, everyone, okay? The good news being for a lot of people who watch my stuff is that SmackDown, the full two and a half hours, is going to have audio. The little background audio. Because we can't run audio when AEW is running. So it's pretty simple. We will not have audio for AEW. I will not be able to hear what is being said for AEW, but we will be able to hear what is being said for SmackDown. Okay, guys? So we'll follow both shows. We'll obviously cover the final half hour of AEW. But yeah. I can't say anything more, Cody Bank. Let's, uh, let's get through this this episode today and then we'll see what questions you have uh oh right hand there from the villain to the face of retro demand and there's a kick right to the back the villain makes a tag however retro demand's gonna make a tag and in comes tevin walker tevin walker drop kick there to chaos and Chaos now runs into another back heel kick from Tevin Walker. Back up to his feet. Tevin looks to throw him into the corner. Chaos lands hard and a forearm there from the World Heavyweight Champion. But now Chaos immediately counters that one with a knee to the chest. And look at the size of this man. This is one freaky looking dude. An overhead throw. Down goes the World Champ. Back into a clothesline. Goodness me. Uppercut there. Drop kick. But wait a second. He doesn't get off his feet. Another drop kick from Tevin Walker. That's twice. And a chop as well. But Chaos is still on his feet. Thrown into the corner here. Tevin Walker. What else are you looking to do? Tevin Walker. Scoops him down. That's one way to get him off his feet. Tevin now. Up he goes. Split leg and moonsault delivered. Nice maneuver. Tevin Walker's going all the way up. No, 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 no. Dark side. Dark side, Dark side is looking to interfere. But wait a second, oh, come on. Just shoved off the top rope. But Tevin is back up to his feet. Eats a right hand from Chaos. Chaos now kicked to the midsection. What is this? Pump handle, no, 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 no. Pump handle driver. The pump handle Samoan driver to the cover. But a kick out at one by Tevin Walker. Ladies and gentlemen, if we could reach this video to 75 likes, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. There's a shot right there to the midsection. And if you guys would like to show your support for this series for this two hours here today, consider becoming a member or dropping a super chat. Really appreciate your support, my friends. It is you who keeps this series alive. Now back into the corner. Wait, lifting his hand up. What is Chaos thinking? But runs into a boot from Tevin Walker. Tevin now immediately throws him back into the corner. Tevin misses the stinger splash. Punch to the midsection. Kick there to the back though. Tevin Walker swings around. DDT attempt, but nobody home. Chaos is an absolute monster, dude. An absolute monster. No! Oh, back body drop delivered to Tevin. Back up to his feet again. Chop along the sides of his muscles and a clothesline just squishing him. No! Oh my god! No, no, no! We're gonna see a rapture bomb! 
Tevin in so much trouble. Villain. Oh my God. Big time power bomb. Deep into the cover, but a mini breaks it up. Thank you for the dono, Retro to Man. Sorry, I've missed most of the CMU. I'm a very tired retro. I've been getting things sorted out. I officially start work tomorrow. Tag for has the been first made. Time. I probably won't be as active anymore, but we'll still continue to support this channel. Oh my god! Power bomb! Big time power bomb delivered! Into the cover! Count of two! It's over! It's over! Rapture wins! As Retro the Man couldn't break it up in time. The villain just pinned Tevin Walker. Retro the Man, my man. It's all good, buddy. It's all good. I appreciate your support regardless. Holy cow. The Rapture just pinned Tevin Walker. Eve, how you doing? Good to see you. Just catching the final few minutes of our main event here today. The villain and the rapture stance. Wait a second. No, 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 no. Come on, man. Oh, come on. Amidia's down. Tevin Walker is down. And that leaves a three-on-one opportunity. The rapture is attacking Retro to Man. Game over. Right in front of the villain like a sacrifice is being made. Chaos, dark side, and the villain just laying waste to the smaller man here. Your number one contender for the world heavyweight title, the villain looking to make a mark on Retro. Come on, enough is enough. Enough is enough, villain. You're creepy. I get it. We get it, man. And now the villain lying in wait for Retro to Man. The villain's kiss plants him down. And I think Chaos is just going to deliver it one last time. Chaotic Driver. Oh my god, Cody! Christian! I know Shane's secret. I know his secret. Keep your head on a swivel, champ. I'm not the only one gunning for that title. Wait, what? Cody knows his secret! Whoa, 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 whoa. Is the secret the secret that all of us know? Is this something regarding Lux7 and Shane the Gamer? Oh, I guess we're going to have to tune in next week to find out, aren't we, everyone? Now, regarding next week, we are going to air the CMU after Crown Jewel. So it's going to air later in the day. All right, everyone. But the CMU will still run next week. We have Crown Jewel during the day. And then we have the CMU during the evening. All right. That should probably clear things up for anybody who had any questions. Thank you very much for watching the CMU here today. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave that like and show your support on the way out. Subscribing to this channel and turning on your notifications go a long way. And also, if you would like to, you can join our Discord server. The link is in the description below. We have so many great wrestling fans over there that just like chatting wrestling. Plus, you never get to miss a video because it automatically delivers it to you through the Discord server. So check that out, guys. Enjoy everything that there is to enjoy on the Discord server. But take care for the rest of today. That is going to be it for me. I do not think we have any time to go on con games, unfortunately. It is my grandparents' 55th anniversary. So I'm heading over there for Chinese food. Uh, we're going to have Chinese food for dinner and just kind of celebrate their 55th anniversary being together. 
So yeah, that's my day, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I've been Khan, and that was the CMU.